We're tracking the tropics and that disturbance we've been keeping an eye on is impacting parts of the Bahamas right now. So how will it affect our weekend weather here in South Florida? CBS 4's meteorologist Jennifer Carrera standing by with the latest update on that storm. Jen. Hi, Maribel. Hey there, South Florida. Happy Friday. So starting off with this disturbance, uh, the hurricane hunters were out investigating a little earlier. They couldn't define a well-defined center, so it is still a disturbance and is basically a big trough of low pressure uh, disorganized but most of the convection is on the east side of this disturbance meanwhile the west side is being sheared so most of the heavy rain of course will remain eastward any areas underneath that side will get the heaviest of the rainfall also notice uh, the center the center actually uh, what they could find at least uh, for now has shifted a little east so it has moved the track farther eastward we'll get to the forecast in a minute but I also want to point out it has slowed down uh, moving towards the north Northwest barely at one mile per hour. Here's a look at the forecast cone. So later on today, possibly becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm Umberto as it continues to track towards the northwest through the weekend by Saturday evening, uh, getting closer to the coast between the Treasure Coast and the Space Coast, and then making more of a turn towards the north and northeast direction later Monday, and then by Tuesday, definitely pulling farther away from the southeast coast as it moves towards the east direction could become at this point a category one hurricane. Bermuda should keep a close watch. Now high pressure to the north is keeping it from moving anywhere as well as this upper level low. This is what's also sharing it on the west side, but eventually there's going to be a weakness on this high that's allowing for that turn towards the north and possibly keeping it offshore from Florida.